Democrats hoping for a Senate takeover know the map is stacked against them. They'll need to make gains and hold every seat up for grabs in states Trump won, like in Missouri, where I traveled last week. The most recent poll shows a dead heat between the Democratic incumbent Claire McCaskill and her Republican challenger, Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley. Now, both parties say the Kavanaugh confirmation fight energized their voters, but in conservative-leaning Missouri, that energy likely means more for the Republicans. McCaskill said her vote wasn't about accusations against Kavanaugh, but his support for unlimited campaign cash. I have to um, live with myself, and I would be a big hypocrite if I voted for Kavanaugh because of dark money. I made my decision on Kavanaugh before the allegations even had really surfaced, um, way before the ugly confirmation process. Now, Holly told me that explanation won't be enough to satisfy Missourians. Big deal. That was a big deal? Big deal. Like, Very big deal. Like, that could make the difference? But yeah, I do. Very big deal. Uh, because I think voters were so appalled by what they said, just appalled by the smear campaign. She well, said. She did say how she would vote before the. Uh, before the hearing. Uh, she, right, she, was, she was honest in saying that she was voting against Justice Kavanaugh because he was a conservative. There's so many um, dynamics in this race that I think it probably mirror some of what you saw in Arizona and definitely other, particularly North Dakota where I went in other areas where you have this red state, you have a Democrat who technically, at least in today's day and age, doesn't necessarily fit the state where Trump won by, you know, in many cases, you know, 30 points in Missouri, it's 20 points, and yet the Democrat is trying desperately to run as an individual, as an independent, as somebody who stands up to the Democrats and stands with the Republicans when it works. The yeah, that's political context, I think, of um, her talking about dark money is that that's a lopsided issue. You have large majorities of conservatives and <clears throat> liberals and Democrats, Republicans and independents who think there's too much money in politics. So that's a bit of a safer issue for, you know, for her to, to cast her opposition on than uh, the accusations, which as we know, were extremely divisive. But McCaskill had a, a difficult decision to make because there is a progressive base in Missouri. <coughs> there are about 12% of the state African Americans. There are universities, college towns, lots of young people, and there's no path for her without mobilizing them as well. There, right. Well, I was just going to say, the, the problem with, you know, comparing, for example, the dark money and mon too much money in politics issue with the Kavanaugh fight is the difference in passion, right? I mean, because whatever the polling might say, I, I think we've seen in, in politics for a long time now that, you know, questions about, you know, campaign finance don't exactly drive people to, like, you know, to the polls. And, and the Kavanaugh fight really did seem, in places like this, uh, like where Dana was, to, to really kind of energize folks in but a way. But even in places where neither candidate voted for Kavanaugh, uh, the, the Blackburn precedent race, mm -hmm. for example, uh, my colleague Andrew Desiderio was, was in Tennessee for, um, with the two of them, and both of them said that they would support Kavanaugh, and Blackburn was still hitting precedent because he didn't support him fast enough mm -hmm. because he waited until mm -hmm. uh, the, the hearings happened. Yeah. And that was one of the things he heard over and over again that voters were really looking into, and both of them felt the same way about it. And the playbook in Missouri is, is not unlike Indiana, again, and these other areas where the Republican, in this case Josh Hawley, is painting the Democrat as somebody who is, he even has, has on his bus a picture of Claire McCaskill with the faces of Nancy Pelosi and Chuck mm -hmm. Schumer, mm -hmm. and she's saying, no, 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 you got me wrong. Watch this. Middle class tax cuts, Justice Gorsuch, Justice Kavanaugh, actually every Supreme Court justice, um, securing the border, uh, the uh, uh, CIA nomination, tariffs. I mean, it's just, you go through it, and every time it matters, she's with the party and against the president. That's what gets lost in all of the noise about Kanye MFing in the Oval Office and Stormy Daniels and all of the drama that is currently Washington, mm -hmm. is that people at home don't hear about the bill that I passed to lower the cost of a hearing aid. They don't know about the bill I passed to make prescription drugs more affordable. They don't know those things even occurred. So that's my job in this campaign, is to show them that I am somebody who brings people in from the edges. I mean, this is the, this is the play, right? Mm -hmm. I'm independent. I'm not part of that machine, mm -hmm. and I think appealing to the idea that people are fed up with politics as usual has been very successful for lots of politicians, including Donald Trump, but this 
election is really going to be, be a test for whether you can be a centrist Democrat in it a red really state. Is, mm -hmm. yeah. And she just, like Heidi Heitkamp told me in North Dakota, be careful. To, they're telling voters, be careful, because if you vote out moderates, then you're going to have even more gridlock, even more partisanship, which is hard to imagine in Washington. Mm -hmm. And that is a, a, a message point. It's a message point, I'm not sure it really flies in a situation, in an atmosphere where people are showing their partisan colors. All right.